Hi, Tile from Ender Fidelity here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2014. I'm here in the Chord booth. They have a new product called the Hugo, which is a portable DAC headphone amp. Very good sounding, and uh, we're going to have uh, John Franks uh, tell us about it. Hi, John. Thanks very much for taking some time with us today. Um, yeah, okay. Hugo. Hugo is um, one of the most advanced DACs in the world today. Uh, it, it is uh, an amazing piece of technology that uh, we, we, we've tried to design this product um, not only for the um, home market but also for the mobile market. It has uh, its battery power, it has 14 hour battery life, uh, it has um, um, a very, very high performance stack that, that enables uh, the unit to work um, in 32 bits up to 384 kilohertz and also 352.8. Um, it, it does not only PCM but also DSD and it will actually work to DXD frequencies, so that's 128k files uh, at, at that level. Um, it has a, an advanced uh, digital volume control with uh, four DSP processing cores and another 16 processing cores in the DAC itself. The volume um, uh, is, is, has, has the uh, ability to, so that you know where you are, um, the, the, we, we have a color change arrangement, which is yeah. rather like the colors of the, of the rainbow. And, and uh, as the volume goes higher, it goes uh, finally to indigo and, and then finally to white. Yeah. And the, the uh, light on the other part uh, changes with the uh, coming, incoming bit rate as well, isn't it, that right? That is correct, yes. Yeah. Yes, it starts once again at 44K at red, uh, and then we'll go to orange at 48K. And then 88k is yellow, and then green is 96k, and uh, then uh, it, we, we, we go through cyan yeah. at 176, cool. and then finally uh, 192. It was fun watching it flip through as you oh, were yes. doing it before. Yes, yes, and yes. can you show us the end panels here? We got uh, sure. optical, digital in, is there? Yeah, opti optical and yeah. digital in up to 384k on, on this. Uh -huh. Then here you have a pair of uh, mini jacks for headphones. Mm -hmm. Here you have a pair of RCAs. Um, now with the RCAs, because this is, is a reference quality DAC, um, we uh, decided that to, 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 to have this so you can actually bypass the volume control mm. um, and uh, just, just have, have this as, as a straight DAC. And on the, okay. Because it is a, a, a reference product in its own right. Uh -huh. And on the other end, we have two switches here, one for the input selection. Uh -huh. um, okay. this, uh, we have here a um, low, low data rate USB input, 16-bit right. uh, asynchronous, uh, for use with um, uh, some of the uh, earlier phones. Yeah. The later generation phones can obviously use um, apps and such that enable high data rate usage. Um, and uh, uh, obviously, you, you, the, the, the most important thing is that, 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 that these micro USBs take no power from the USB source. So, this uh, enables iPads and uh, Apple products to be used as well. Right. Um, and uh, obviously, you can. Uh, and what's the switch for on that one? The, the, the switch here is, is the actual on and off switch. To power the unit on and yes, off. Yes, to power the unit. Ah, I see. Okay, uh, if, cool. If, if I power it up, it goes through a sequence and actually goes through the uh, the various colors, color changes. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. And the price of it. Oh, and also there is uh, there is uh, another input as well. Uh huh. Um, and that that's uh, an A2DP Aptex Bluetooth input. Oh, that's right. And I listened to, I listened to my phone uh, in that mode. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It sounded very good. Uh, price of the product is uh, twelve hundred sterling. In the U.S. here, it's. Two three nine five dollars. Okay, and is is it available currently? It is available. Yes, Excellent. Yes, yes, we're just we're, we're actually building uh, the, the first large batch um, uh, concurrently now. So, uh, that they will be available throughout January.
Cool. Well, I had to listen to Unity. It is very uh, good sounding. I, I have to get it home and, and listen to it with a, uh, more than uh, portable sources and, and whatnot. Uh, but it certainly did sound good. Quite a, some unusual background on the D to A converter on this one as well. It's quite an unusual D to A converter. I'll try to get some of that. I'll at least point you to some of that information in the uh, text uh, of the uh, show report here. Thank you very much for taking the time. I appreciate it. It's a, it's a pleasure. Really an interesting product. Okay, we'll see you guys at the next booth.